This short video is to show you how to pair your D2L shell with Connect and SimNet. Connect is where the SmartBook assignments are located from the concepts portion of your course, and SimNet is where the application assignments are. First, go to the course or go to your shell. If you are pulling in Dr. Kakish's shell, then you will already have this Sim Connect and SimNet link right here under Content Browser. If not, then this will have to be added. Please see your administration or D2L admin on how to get this added into your shell. Once this is here, you simply click on this and it will open up a link for MH Campus GGC. Click there. Once you click, you will be asked to find your textbook. You must use the concepts book, Technology at Your Service. The author, I'm going to find it by the author's name, De Arosa. You click Find Now. Normally it shows up on the second row. This is your book right here, Technology at Your Service, first edition. You select that particular book. That now is listed under your course as the book in use, and you see the Connect and the SimNet link here. First, I'm going to pair SimNet. You click on this, and up here at the top right hand corner, you click I want this for my students. Then from the dialog box here, you click on Adopt SimNet. This has already recognized that Dr. Kakish had logged in and it has already taken him to section 12 of his course in SimNet. If it does not recognize you, it will ask for your username and password for SimNet. You will enter that and it will also show you the URL which is right up here, ggc.simnetonline.com. You don't have to do anything with that, you just click Next. And then when it logs you in, you find your course, in this case it was course 12, click on it and hit Pair, and it will take you to this exact same screen. From within SimNet, you can go back to D2L by clicking on Return to LMS, standing for Learning Management System, right up here at the top. It closes that window and goes right back into your LMS. Now we want to pair Connect. Click on the Connect link. Once you click on that link, it's going to take you to this screen right here, and it may show your courses if it recognizes you, but you still have to go up here and click, I want this for my students. If it does not recognize you, it will ask you for your Connect username and password. Your username for Connect is the one that uses your email address. Once logged in, click on I want this for my students, and then click Adopt Connect. Now you want to make sure here that you want to have already had your course in Connect set up. And then you go to a section in an existing Connect course. We are in the section 12 of the D2L shell, so we obviously want to pair this with section 12 for Connect by clicking here and then choosing that section and click Save. Now you are paired, it tells you to go to section home page. Now you can see I am paired with the section 12 up here at the top and here are my students assignments. And if any time I want to see what they look like, I click on Student View right here. And then I go back to Instructor's View. At any time, I can go to My Courses right here for Connect. And I can see all of the courses that I'm teaching inside of Connect. If all that you have is the template, the fall template, if that's all you have in here, 
you need to go here and duplicate it and type in here your section and information and then click continue to new section. That will then give you the section that you will want to pair with from D2L. And then at any time if you want to go back to D2L from here you simply go over here and click on go to campus. And that takes me back into my D2L course. So for the rest of the semester, you only have to do this one time with each section that you're teaching. So the rest of the sem semester, you can get to your Connect course by clicking there. And you can get to your SimNet course by clicking there. Your students on the first day of class will also go up to the content portion of D2L and they will click on MH Campus GGC and it will take them here as well and they will see this. They will register for SimNet by clicking here and register for Connect by clicking here. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Please let us know how we can help you. Thank you so much.